Hi, welcome back to the Crafty Nook. Today we are going to, I've got a hot mess on my desk, but you know, when do I not? It's fine. Today we are working in, we're gonna work in this um, scrap, scrappy junk journal. Um, but I wanted to talk about a couple of things before I get started. Number one being this um, stencil material that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and completely forgot that I even had. So around Christmas time, I was looking for a way to make my own stencils. And I tried some with um, page dividers and it worked okay. But then when I was cleaning after the first of the year, I found this stencil material. And it's just, it's acetate. It's pretty thick. So I made some stencils last night. Let's see. Um, let's get a piece of paper where you can see what's happening. How about these? Um, so I made some stencils last night. I made this one and this one. This one with the cute mushroom. I kept the middle of this because it was all one piece. Made that one. And then I made that one. So, um, oh, and one more. This one. So this comes with three pieces of stencil material and they are 12 by 18 inches long. They have a piece of um, protective plastic on the back. So I would recommend that you pull that off before you cut. I did not know it had that and so I have little pieces of coating stuck to my mat and it took me forever to clean it. But this is only $4.49 at Hobby Lobby. That is, I mean, and you get three pieces of it and I made one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I made two others, but they did not work because I didn't have the pressure set right. So I cut this with my Cricut Maker on acetate default settings, but with more pressure instead of regular pressure uh, is what ended up actually working for this. So I'm going to use these to decorate some of these pages today. So I wanted to talk about that before we get started. And then, oops, I uploaded a video. The video right before this video is going to be the one where I um, cut these out with my Cricut as well. These are some digital elements that I pulled into Canva and um, then uploaded into Design Space. So we're gonna use some of these to make some embellishments. And I also printed out some of the papers, which are here from this collection. This is the Magical Forest collection, which is very close in color because it's Maggie Holmes to the majority of the stuff that's in this book already. I'm also gonna cut these apart before we get started. And then, so these are the papers. I, I have two copies of this cut apart. One is cut on, uh, I mean printed on matte photo paper and one is just on regular copy paper. And then I have this on photo paper. These are just some book pages. So these are the papers that I printed out. I did not print all of them. There's two there. These are all on regular copy paper. And I think they turned out okay on the copy paper. This one I should have probably printed because I'm gonna use some of those elements. Should maybe have cut this a little smaller because those are giant words. I didn't print all of the papers, just a few. And then these are on that matte photo paper. Honestly, what happened is I put the wrong paper in. And so I have a mixture of the two. This one's probably one of my favorite papers as well as this one okay 
so that is what we have as far as papers. I'm gonna save these out so I can cut them apart first. I'll put these with these cut apart. Okay. And then we got new water jugs. Check it out. That's not what is exciting for the crafting channel. Although these water jugs are amazing. But look at the packaging that it came with. It's got these little cutouts. And I thought those would be perfect to stencil with. So I kept them. Um, so I'm going to put those with the stencils. And then what I did is, these are just some off cuts. I fussy cut a whole bunch of stuff last night. I am not normally a fussy cutter, but this was actually very relaxing. I was able to sit on the couch next to the wife while she watched a movie I wasn't interested in and I fussy cut these. Most of these are from and, uh, this book here. This is a from an Autobahn animal encyclopedia. And then I also have some, oh, these need to go. These are fussy cut elements from magazines. And then just decorative elements that um, I think would be really great additions to journals. And then some more of those from the Autobahn book. Like, look at that. Black Eye Susans, those are so pretty. So, and then these are some bigger pieces from magazines. Look at this bird. This was on a magazine that we get in the mail and he was on the cover, so I cut him out. And then these, um, I haven't not made it to yet, but I did fussy cut out several birds. So, that is the stuff that we have to work with today. We're going to do lots of stenciling and collaging and getting pages prepped to journal in. Um, so, if that's your jam. Oh, one more thing. I found this. So my wife's uncle had a garage sale a couple of years ago and when he did he had a bunch of books and she wouldn't let me take all of them um, but I did pick up two readers digest which this is gorgeous this might be my next journal we shall see but look at this paper in here that is like a gorgeous color this is from 1981 it looks like no, 1982. Um, the Autobahn books were from 1967. And so I picked up two readers, not just this one and a green one from that garage sale. And then I picked up three of those Autobahn books. So I pulled pages out of two of them. This came in an order. I'm gonna save that. I have my die cutting machine pulled out and I have embossing folders pulled out. And so today we're just gonna go through here and we are going to stencil and collage and get some stuff made up to use inside of here. So. That is what we're doing. And we might go ahead and make some extra because I have, let me give you a little sneak peek of my next project. Is the junk journal I was using that has a few pages completed in it. This I started in 2020, right around the time that COVID hit and then on into like, this has, what is this? Yeah, coronavirus. This is from March 16th, 2020. And then I talked about um, how my mom used to buy these tabloid papers when I was a kid. I 
and I thought it was funny. So, um, this is kind of what we're going to be doing today. So, I like this kind of, this is how I use these um, little scrapbooks, or use them as little scrapbooks. And so, this is from a trip I took with a group of friends a long time ago. Ooh, and I have some stuff in here that's ready to be used. Anyway, I didn't get very far, but that's okay. Ooh, some swatches of the watercolors that I got. And then photos from this year. But that's not why I pull, pulled this out. I forgot this was in here. I have these two small journals in here that I need to finish. I have selected papers for them and even end papers. And, and it's two signatures in here. I just have never finished it. And so I would like to finish it. And I wanna go ahead and make up some stuff that can go inside of there. I think this one has more done in it. Yeah. So not very much more though. things here and there pretty sure that's it yeah not certain that these are the papers that I want to keep in here but these I'd like to finish and get them done and I really probably need to print some photos and stuff to put inside here so this is kind of what we're doing today I've been watching a lot of Barbara from 49 dragonflies as well as Gail um, Agostinelli, I think I said her name right. Um, and they, and Roxy from Roxy's Creations, they do a lot of mass making and they make like a bunch of pockets and a bunch of tags and a bunch of belly bands and all kinds of stuff. And so that's kind of what I wanna do today is just mass make some things so that I have pieces to pull from when I'm ready to craft because I have been cricketing and die cutting and all kinds of stuff for some days, like a few hours over the last three days. I finally am caught up on my homework um, and I have all day to craft and I've already wasted most of it. It's almost three o'clock. So I also pulled this magazine when I was harvesting stuff to fussy cut. Um, I pulled this one it's very bright and festive and lots of like wellness and mindfulness and stuff but I think this page is very cute and it really kind of goes with the vibe so I thought this one might be nice to include something from this page so that's where we are I am gonna clear this off and get ready to I think I'm gonna start by I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this stuff apart. And then um, my next step will be to stencil. So I'll be back. So when I was trying to put away my stuff, I remembered that I had pulled all these papers and ironed them um, with the intent of adding them inside the journal and I never did. So I'm gonna use some of this to collage with. So I'm gonna keep that for parts and I have them ready here I did save one because I already have one exactly like it so we'll see if I decide I want to use that um, now we're going to get cracking on some stenciling as soon as I find where I put my stencils there they are um, I have pulled out some inks that I'd like to use. Um, and then make myself a little color palette. 
So I've got tumbled glass, speckled eggs, stormy sky, evergreen bell, tattered rose, dried marigold, Victorian velvet, saltwater taffy, scattered straw, and vintage photo. And so we are just going to go page by page in here and see which pages we want to add some stenciling to um, and which pages we think would be okay without it. Um, so that is what we are about to do. I also pulled out some of, oops, some of my um, purchased stencils. So I have these lines. And then this is, so on here, this is one of these. A mixed media transfer from Faber Castell. They are not the stickiest, but I've had them for a very long time, and I'm pretty sure they were on, already on clearance when I bought them. So I probably need to use them. And they actually work really well. I think there might be another one in here. And then this rose stencil. I have used to create find it. This is the most extravagant junk journal in the history of junk journals. So this is this one, and I just used it to get the color. I think actually it was this that I used to get the color. And then I used a pin to add the lines, and I think there might be another one in here. I also pulled out my box of paper ruffles and fabric ruffles that I would like to try to use some of. We'll see, since there is one in here already. Nope, I guess not. I guess those are all behind me. So that's what we're gonna do. We are about to, I really wanna put a photo in there. So, we are going to get some things done. I wish I could find some more of these mixed media transfers. Let's try to look and see if I can find some somewhere. Okay. All right. I am just going to put you on fast forward while I get some of this going.
damage for now. Okay, I need to close away. So I painted and stenciled on a lot of these pages. I didn't do every single page. Um, this one is going to need to have something covering the back of it because I'm going to pop a photo in there. I did some uh, packaging technique watercolor on some of them. I probably should have done that on more. Which I can always go back and add more. I'm going to need to cover up because that's hideous. Uh -oh. All right, so this one's getting a tuck spot or a pocket here. Not a huge fan of this one either. I thought that I could save it with the paint, but it, I don't. I don't like it. I do really like that. I don't know why. Parchment there. All right, and that is it. So now what I think I might do is clean up this mess and pull out my punches because I have some decorative edge punches but that already made it a little bit thick. I may have to take some of these pages out. We shall see. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Clean up my mess and come back. Okay, so I pulled out my punches. I've got this punch, a corner, decorative corner punch, two of those, and then another border punch. punches that I have to use.
ahead and pulled these four pages out because I was not happy with the way that they turned out with the stenciling and the paint. I love this, but oh no, why did I take that out? I didn't mean to take that out. It's fine. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Um, but I can use some of these for collaging when I get to that, but, and maybe even some paper ribbons, but I have this bucket of paper ribbons that I'd like to see if any of them will work. So I have some paper ribbons and then I have some fabric ones. Some of these are going to be a little too dark. I might use one of these or these. And then maybe, since I already have some of this on there, I might pull that. The rest of these I'll put back. I should have thought about this before. Ooh, I kind of like that. Is that going to make it too bulky? Oh, that's cute. But I might want to do a different color. Let's see. Yep. So this is where we're at so far sorry this is where we're at so far um, I think this is probably my favorite. I'm gonna leave this open and let that dry. Uh oh. Oh, I guess there's gonna be another part where we um, make some things to go inside. 
because it's already supper time. I've gotta go cook dinner. So, so far, I'm in love with the way this is turning out. So, after supper, I will film some collaging and such. And make that another video, I guess. Um, so, thanks for hanging out in the crafting nook today. Um, I will see you again next time. Bye.